Good morning, it is Sunday uh, and I'm on my way to the second of four NFL London games. Currently coming to you from the streets of Portsmouth on my way to the train station. It's going to be another shaky vlog I'm afraid this week. Um, yeah, come along. So last week we watched the Baltimore Ravens play the Jacksonville Jaguars. They didn't really bring their game. It wasn't a fantastic score by the end of it. Uh, so this week we are off to watch the uh, New Orleans Saints versus the Miami Dolphins. It should be a much better game. Jay Ajayi plays for the Miami Dolphins and he is British himself. And I've got him on my fantasy team, so fingers crossed he performs well today. Uh, that's if he plays at all. Currently down on the injury report as questionable. His status is questionable. Um, I've got him on my fantasy team, so I kind of really want him to play. So we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of hoping it's a tight game though. Like, last week was just a washout. The Ravens just got absolutely smashed by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And while it's great to be there, we didn't necessarily get the game that I thought we were going to get. So uh, I'm excited for this week because it'll be something new and different. Um, yeah, should be good. I'm, I'm on my way now to the train station at Fratton. Uh, off to go meet Ed and then we're heading up to London and we'll meet up with Wayne and Gaz. And it's a bit of a wet day today. The NFL clearly communicated we're not allowed to bring umbrellas. So I've purposely left mine at home. It's not going to be very nice today. It'll still be warm. That's good. That's a plus. But uh, yeah. It's already raining. It's a bit soggy this morning. We're on a train and Ed's here. We're on our way to Brighton to then change to go to London because Ed was slightly late. It wasn't Ed, it was his train. No, we can't say that. Leave that out. Oh, bloody. Oh, uh, because it might be liable. Terrible train operator. No, but I've already mentioned. No, but I'll cut that out. Uh, yeah. Now you've got to beep when I said it then. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll yeah. do that as well. Yeah. Great Western Railways are great. They are fantastic. If you want to go on a Great Western Railways. Yeah, we're on a Great Western train. It was on time. The other train, which I didn't mention, <laughs> wasn't on time. This one? On time? This one's on time. So we're on our way to Brighton because that's where we have to change. you get to now. London now. Yeah. Um, which will be fun. And it's a lot quicker journey ish. Um, there's only four stops in this one, whereas there was like 19 on the other service that we won't mention. Um, trains in this country, not very good. <laughs> not very nice, is it? Welcome to the London Underground. You're going to hear his that. I know. So we've arrived at Wembley train, uh, Stadium uh, train station. We've got to find Wayne now. So there's the bridge for Olympic Parkway. The stadium's in the background. Let's see if we can, there you go, you can just about see it there. Um, yeah, let's go. Find Wayne. Do you know where he is? Not a clue. As I wave to my disciples, there he is waving at us as, as we come down the steps. Oh, oh it's so, so shaky. It wasn't that hard to spot, actually. <laughs> Why is he not coming over here? It's just so busy. This is cool. Branding, which they've changed from last week. And we're going over. Wayne said he was in front of the fuzzy thing. Grass on a wall. Hello, Wayne! Hello. Welcome to Wembley. I was here before you. Oh, well, oh, well, welcome us to Wembley. Thank you very much. So kind. Wayne, can you just walk this way and we'll welcome you to Wembley. Why are we going this way? <laughs> do we not go under the bridge? You want to go to Tesco, don't you? Ah, yes, we do. 
This is the walk by the uh, well, Wembley's there, and we're by the designer outlet shopping group. You might remember this from last week's vlog. It feels a lot busier this week, but I think it's a bit early. There's my man, JJI. Better do well today. We've got another dolphin over there. <laughs> and we're heading to the tower gate. And a wild Gaz has joined. Hello. Hey Gaz, how are you doing? Hey buddy, I'm pretty good, how are you? Good, yeah, not bad. We're heading to the tower gate. You didn't come to the tower gate last week. No, didn't make so it. Late. I was uh, in a taxi. Yeah, <laughs> it was slightly was late. A late and be hungover. <laughs> uh, so tower gate basically is a lot of discounted free stuff and there's a big shop there and get your game pass. It's worth going to if you're coming to these games. This is news to me. Um, it's not like a proper American tailgate, it's more like a market but with like giveaways and like prizes. Yeah, it's a fan zone, more of a market. Yeah, fan zone. Uh, so we'll go and take a look at that now. So we're coming to the NFL tailgate and there's a big queue. We've judged this at the wrong time because uh, there's a bag search and ticket check here. Uh, but you can see you've got like subway back there as well we were last week. And then there's some stuff going on over there. And this big old shop is over there. You're a big old shop. Yeah. The big old shop of NFL gear. Yeah. So this is the tailgate. Uh, you can get some food from here if you want. Uh, if you go over there, you've got the NFL store. Uh, over there, you've got signing, or you can get a photo of the Lombardi trophy. Some the Super Bowl. Uh, big NFL sign, you can have your photo taken with. Uh, and then there's some more like they do some signings. There's a signing tent over there, with some players. Uh, and we're over here, we have the NFL Game Pass just behind Gaz there. We're gonna head over there. And then of course you got the bar, Wayne and Ed as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh wow. Okay. So what do I do? Uh, so Virgin Atlantic gave me these, they're goggles. <laughs> so this is the NFL lab where you can shoot, you can throw uh, a ball through the holes or here you've got a vertical lead, try and touch. One of those, as high as you can go, basically. I don't think I'd be able to do any of it. It's interesting. So, Wembley Stadium. And over there, some stores with the big NFL uh, shop right behind there. Some more food. Uh, Wayne and Ed. Bar, Gaz, watching the big screen, enjoying some football from last weekend, I think. Uh, and then we've got just a load of other stuff here at the tailgate. Just enjoying, you know, Enjoying the tailgate atmosphere. So many people here. Genuinely cannot wait to get inside and watch our second game here in London. I've only just realised that this logo on this big stage is made up of cats. It's made up of cats. I didn't notice that. Let me get closer. See, so all the, the sort of silvery bits are the stickers on top of the cats. Yeah, it's this logo here. Yeah, so that logo is on that stage, but this is made up of caps. Possibly our favourite thing about Tailgate is the free Pepsi maps that you get. So we are fully loaded. I've got two in my back pocket as well, because you can take two in, providing you empty it into a cup and they fit, two of them fit into a cup. So we bought, we've managed to get three for free in the Tailgate. It's a good day. Again, for Pepsi Max. Thanks NFL and thanks Pepsi Max. So we've just left the tailgate on our way to the stadium. I'm uh, going to try and video a little bit of our entering. We're around at gate P, uh, which we start. Uh, we sort of start around at G and then work our way around, and this lettering goes down. Uh, thanks, Ed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, into the stadium we go. There's some oversized plant pots. No, I. I my head, I can see the boat. We're heading up. To the very top. I think we'll take the escalator today. Those stairs last week tuckered me out. Yeah. They are massive plant pots. Just behind us. So we walk up the stairs. It only took us like an hour, but we finally made it to gate P. This is us. Let's find the shortest queue, which usually was in the middle of us. 
through it to the middle, managed to walk almost straight in, even though there's a huge key. These guys will find it. Here? Ah, uh, go for it. Three! Security. And in we go. Scan this. And we're through. We're in. And now we take the escalator to heaven. So we now make one. And he's on the scuba. So we're at five, two, seven, and we're in. Lovely way. That is lovely. And just so we know, if we need it, chicken and chips right outside our block. We're going inside, staying to the left. There it is. Dolphins branded. And we've got what looks like a little goodie bag thing. Oh wow, they're shiny. We're here. Just this one here. Uh, Do you want to go in? Okay. I stole your flag then. Wow. And we're here. Made it back to Wembley. Good. It's glorious. Wembley Stadium, please welcome the 2017 Miami Dolphins cheerleader. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct oh, your okay. attention to the big screen and raise the Sport Relief bag on your seat to show your support for Sport Relief 2018. Up. You can see it spells out Sport Relief up there, which is really cool. It's the lines all the way around thing. It's cool. Please raise your bags and show your support for Sport Relief. Go back! Go back! Go back! Tom Daly! Go back and see, I got my bag up. His bike's not working. Is it on? Where is he? Oh, he's on the... Down here. No microphone. Thank you, NFL fans, for your support of Sport League 2018. Three, two, one. Rucker. 
A bit different from last week, gonna try and film some bits of the game, mainly the touchdowns. If they get near in the red zone, I'll try and film it. Uh, probably not gonna include a lot in it though. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So far, we'll bring you updates at half time anyway, uh, and after the match as well. Every time the Miami Dolphins get a first down, they, they announce it and Wayne is already getting annoyed. They've already done it like six times already. It's not a real person. It's not. It's a sound bite. No, he's not. So someone in my video uh, from last week commented, look out for the uh, the flag around the portal I'm going to guess that's the one there. Hello to you, thanks for watching the video last week and hope you're watching this week. Hope you enjoyed again. And we're back. Uh, we're in the second quarter. Currently 5 minutes and 18 seconds left in the court and neither team has scored yet. Two very close. Binties for them both to get points on the board and both have failed. Dolphins through an interception. Saints missed. Second field down goal. and five on the 45 yard line. And the Saints missed a field goal. So that's the end of the first half. Players running into their locker room. And the uh, Saints are ahead by three points on the board. After getting a field goal hurry at the end of the first half of the game. It's the Ed and Ollie halftime review. How's it going, Ed? Yeah, it's very boring. Yeah, yeah. It's a very different game from very last different. week where it was almost a whitewash with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. But this week, only three points on the board from the Saints. What's going on? What would you do differently if you were playing Madden? Not a clue. But you'd probably score some touchdowns. I have no idea how to play. Yeah, but you know how to play Madden. Welcome to yeah, Super Bowl. Suck at Madden. I don't know if you can see this. Cheerleaders. Currently, there are three minutes fifty-seven seconds left on the clock, and New Orleans Saints are winning twenty, while Miami Dolphins have scored zero. We're currently off the cheerleaders. Just filling time. Well, pretty much the stadium is just empty after Saints just scored another touchdown and completed their. Extra point as well. So we've just come out. I just wanted to watch some good football. I wanted to watch two teams, a game that was close, but two teams who at least scored. And it was a whitewash again. Slightly let down. We've got two games left, Twickenham, and we're going to watch the Cardinals at the Rams and the Vikings at the Browns. And I'm praying that we watch something slightly better than what we witnessed this week 
and last win. That's no disrespect to any fans of those teams. It's nothing to do with me disrespecting the team or anything like that. We just we didn't see anything here. We watched some good football from the opposing teams, Saints as well, and so did the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Dolphins and Ravens just didn't bring it to Wembley, and it's a shame because I was expecting more from both teams. They're both two bloody great teams. We just didn't get that. And I'm a little bit, I'm not annoyed, disappointed, I think is the right word. We'll see what Twickenham brings in a couple of weeks' time. First one's on the 21st, weekend of the 21st, and second one will be on the 29th, so we'll see how they go. short video uh, for you on the NFL. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did like the video, give it a like. If you enjoyed it so much you want to see my future stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will be back uh, next week with a trip to Bournemouth. Um, so I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.